I like this question, Rick, because it, it kind of, sort of, is about me. Your favorite subject. My let's, favorite subject. Let's dive in. Autumn Ridge pastors and staff are great leaders who point the people of the church to Jesus and serve the church community with great distinction. Caring for self is very important. Burnout is real. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what safeguards are in place to augment or maintain staff morale, positive staff culture, and team-building relationships among the staff. Thankful for your servant hearts. This is such a thoughtful question. Whoever wrote this, thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, I appreciate your kindness. I appreciate your encouragement of, of our staff and our pastors. I agree with you. I think that they are fantastic. Um, I, I find myself just feeling pretty grateful for the kindness and the mm -hmm. empathy that's represented behind this question. Uh, something that might be helpful to know is back in February, uh, we hired a company to come in and survey our staff. Not an in-house survey, it was professionally done uh, by a company called Best Christian Workplaces Institute. Mm -hmm. And uh, they work with many churches and other organizations across the country. They surveyed our staff and what they told us is, you should be very happy that you have you have a healthy organization, a healthy, happy staff that's moving in the right direction. Like any other organization, we have, we have work to do uh, to get better, and we want uh, to get better. They, uh, but, but they said that, we're, that we're, act, we're doing a great job moving in the right direction. Now, that's a snapshot of a moment in time. It's an important snapshot, but that alone isn't enough. We have a, a number of uh, values that our uh, staff are trying to live by mm -hmm. one of which is keep church fun that's right and uh, we try to have uh, we try to have fun as a staff we're trying to create and, and cultivate uh, the kind of environment uh, the kind of culture where everyone is honored where we are a high trust low control kind of culture the kind of culture where we talk to each other not around each other or not a, not about each other and anyone who's ever worked in a place that has a great culture you know that it requires everyone to be invested in and it really requires kind of a gatekeeper someone who this is their job and they're constantly monitoring monitoring it to ensure that it's getting all that it needs this is how we have that it's one of the reasons that we hired two executive pastors if you've ever thought of executive pastors primarily as administrators that's a that's one type there are at least three maybe four different versions of what an executive pastor is we didn't hire administrative types right. we hired two executive pastors both of them have really important ministry oversight staff oversight responsibilities and they also have operations uh, responsibilities but one of our um, executive pastors we hired pastor caleb smith his job is this, he's the executive pastor of strategy and culture. He's doing things right now, like leading all of our mm -hmm. staff to take an assessment. You took the assessment. I took the assessment. What'd you think of it? It was scarily spot on. <laughs> it was uncanny <laughs> how it helps me understand me. Yeah. I, I love it. And, and every staff member gets, a, uh, gets an hour or an hour and a half session working mm -hmm. through that so that we can make sure that everybody's in a spot where they feel like they can thrive, where they're really able to lead from their strengths. As a matter of fact, that's what the assessment is called. We are committed basically every day to make sure that we are, uh, that we're getting better. Uh, in, in this area. Some of the other things uh, that we do is making sure that our staff are taking vacation, making sure that they get, uh, they're invested in for their mm -hmm. leadership development, uh, making sure that once a month uh, that staff get a personal uh, retreat day. This is something that we're focusing on. I would encourage you, don't just listen to this video, right? And you may not trust, if Robert agrees with me, you may not trust that he's telling you the truth because he's on camera in front of the boss. <laughs> Talk to people on our staff. Ask them, how are they doing? You know what? It would mean the world to them. Talk to them and say, we're, we're praying for you. How could I pray for you? It would mean the world to them. I want you to know we're highly invested in this, and I think that we have good reasons to believe uh, that we are really moving in the right direction. You didn't mention the one thing I thought you'd mention. What's that? We play pickleball here. We do play pickleball. Yeah. If you can't be happy playing pickleball, I don't know what That's to do. That's not all we do. That's not all we do, but it's a big thing. I wish we, we had do. time for more pickleball. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thank but, you, Rick. Uh, hey, thanks for caring about us.